What's up everybody, it's Afro DJ Mac and I want to give you a quick two minute Ableton Live tip on how you can split frequencies using audio effect racks and affect those different frequencies in different ways. So we've got this little clip here um, and it's got now this new part coming in with a higher range. Now let's say I just want to get an effect mostly on the higher stuff. The first thing I want to do here is right click in here on my audio effect rack and create a chain. I've done that once. And I'm going to take any kind of EQ will do, but I like EQ3 because it's kind of nice and easy. So I put that there, and I'm going to duplicate this. Now you'll notice the volume got twice as loud. That's because I have now two chains of the same sound going through. So I'm going to disable the mids and the highs on this one and rename it lows. Because now only the low frequencies are coming out of there. We don't even hear that higher part now. And on this one, I'm going to rename it highs. Okay, and you know I'm going to duplicate that again, and rename this one mids, and I'm going to do the same thing. And now this one will only have the highs. So now we basically have something similar to what we had before. There's a little character added by the EQ3, but that's okay. So let's say on the highs I want a delay. So I'm going to grab my trusty ping pong delay and drop it on this particular row. Now only my highest frequencies are getting delayed. And you can really hear that if I play this clip here. So those are my highs. And they're getting delay put on them. I'll maybe open this up a little. Okay. Now let's say the mids we want a little chorus just for the heck of it. A lot of times you don't really want to put things like chorus on your um, low track, but can be kind of cool on different middle to high frequencies. And there, just so it's a little drastic. But my lows are nice and steady and solid. Maybe I want to compress those. We can put a little compression on there. Check up that a little bit. Drop down the kill the makeup gain. And now I've taken this sound, which is kind of cool anyway, from the uh, Armageddon pack that I made with Mike Longo, and I've added effects to different frequency ranges. Nice and easy. I hope that helps you add some diversity to your tracks and split things and give you some new sonic potential. Thanks for watching and enjoy.